for a friend. Welcome back to another episode of For a Friend. It's Ariel here and Kareem, the usuals. But today we have a special guest, Miss Francine Stewart, my good, good family. <laughs> um, Francine, would you like to introduce yourself? Tell the fans about you. Wow. Um, well, as as Ari said, I'm Francine Stewart, and um currently working for Silver Sands Grenada. I'm the director of sales and marketing here. But I'm also a mother, um, a hardworking professional lady. There you go. Um, and I have to add, you know, a, a fitness enthusiast. Yes, mm. definitely. So if you all don't already know, today the episode we're talking about is inspired by my personal favorite TED Talk ever, titled The Brain-Changing Benefits of Exercise. Mm. And so that's why I chose Francine to <laughs> be on this podcast with us today because, like she said, she's a fitness enthusiast. Like, I would see this girl walk in ridiculous lengths and be like, wow, she's committed. So, and I love also that, like she said, she's a hardworking professional. She's a mom. She has so much going on. So I think she would have been the prime example for us today to put the pointers that were discussed in the TED Talk and apply it to real life and see if there actually are benefits to exercise mm -hmm. and how it could um, complement your life. So let's just dive straight into it. Kareem, did you watch the video? Did you do your homework? <laughs> <laughs> I did at the last minute, but I did. LOL. Better late than never, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. But, and what did you think? Um, it was good. Um, I think her perspective was interesting because, you know, she was like a neuroscientist and then she kind of switched over to exercise and, and things like that. So that was interesting. It was actually interesting. I kind of saw a lot of parts of my life kind of in, in her TED Talk, which I thought was kind of interesting. I feel like I need to reevaluate some things, but that's okay. What? Like what? Um, well, well, one thing that I know, which is a fact that whenever I'm like depressed, Mm -hmm. or like moody or something like that is because I haven't like worked out in mm -hmm. a while. Mm -hmm. So true. Um, and like sometimes I spiral and I have these like binges of like just alcohol and yeah. junk food <laughs> and yeah. you know nothingness. You Don't know? worry you're not alone Kerry. You're <laughs> right. talking and I'm like uh-huh. Picturing in <laughs> exact moments when I was in that same position. Right. right? Yeah, yeah. And the it's funny thing is I feel like you don't notice that difference until you get into the rhythm of exercising. Correct. Because before I didn't know, like I would have all those feelings and stuff, but I was just like, everybody feels this way. This right. is totally normal. Mm -hmm. And then thank God for lockdown because that was actually the first time I ever exercised consistently. And then when real life started happening again, and I actually saw what it was like when I didn't exercise, I was like, wait a minute. I think these two might be connected. Right. Mm -hmm. right. It definitely is. Um, yeah. So what started, what inspired you to start your Ooh. fitness journey, Fran? Um, I like to add, I was always a heavy child, um, um, quote unquote, you know, fat mm. um, teenager, um, always trying to figure out how to lose the weight. And I know we'll touch on this a bit later in terms of nutrition and food. Mm -hmm. But we come from a family that love to mm -hmm. cook and love to eat, yeah. you know, and I still love to eat, not necessarily cook, but I love to eat. <laughs> and I just, you, you know, you just didn't, re I just never realized how much nutrition played a part in, mm -hmm. in my, in my weight or my body size. And then at some point in my early twenties, I lost a whole lot of weight, mm -hmm. a whole lot of weight. All wow. it, um, not the right way, mm -hmm. just literally working Martin. nonstop and not eating yeah mm. and so then i thought oh if you don't eat you lose weight yeah right. right um but for the first time ever in my life i felt what it was like to be slim and i enjoyed how that yeah. felt i enjoyed how much more energy i had i enjoyed how i looked at my clothes i personally enjoyed that mm -hmm. um and and admired myself for it and from then i was 21 i think or 22 but then the weight went back on mm -hmm. because, of course, I didn't lose it in the right way. Mm -hmm. And there was no exercise. So then I started exercising. And anyway, fast forward, it went through yo-yoing up and down, up and down. Um, and then I had a son. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I think I had gotten to the point where I just accepted my, that I was going never going to be slim that way again. Mm -hmm. um, and I was happy with how I looked and who I was then, mm -hmm. just before I had my son. 
and then I put on 60 pounds. Wow. Right? So those for those who don't know and for those who are mommies already and who know, you're only supposed to put on about 30 pounds. Oh, wow. Um, 30 to 40 pounds. Really? Um, a pound is supposed to be a pound a week. Okay. And pregnancy is 40 weeks. Yeah. So I, I put on double. Right. 60 pounds. So, and then, you know, the nurses and the doctors would say, don't worry. It's going to be a big baby. <laughs> a big baby. And when he, when he come out or when the child come out, you're going to be fine. And then I never forgot when... I went back to the doctor after I had him and I went on I went on the scale and I was still like heavy. I almost knock off the, the nurse. I looked at her, I was like, I thought you said. <laughs> I thought you said it was gonna go back so to normal. I have no problem sharing my I was 170 before I had him and I the week I had him I was 230. Wow. wow. Yeah, so that's 60 pounds. Wow. Yeah. So after I had him and I went back to the doctor, it was like two or five. And I remember looking at the nurse and I was like, I thought you said. Exactly. <laughs> what? She's like, well, you know, um, you obviously put on extra weight and stuff. I'm like, duh, no kidding. Anyway, <laughs> came back home and um, started back working. And a friend of mine invited me to play football, mm -hmm. soccer. Mm -hmm. Down at SGU, there were these group of moms playing soccer just for the oh. fun of it. Jason Roberts has started this foundation and he was trying to get more, not just females, but older females, you know, mm -hmm. women who had children already. And so, so we went down once a week mm -hmm. and started playing soccer, mm -hmm. aerobic activity, mm -hmm. literally like two hours once a week. Every Thursday yeah. it used to be. And then one day I went to work and my boss said, she was like, oh, you need to stop wearing those pants. Mm -hmm. So I was like, why? She said, they're too big. Oh. And then I didn't realize, I literally did not realize I was losing the weight. Mm -hmm. And I went home that evening and I put on my pre-pregnancy clothes mm -hmm. and they fit. And that's when I decided, okay, Francine, you have to consciously mm -hmm. commit, you know, some of the things that she spoke about. And my mood changed, everything. Like, and I remember while playing, I was feeling better about myself, but I wasn't thinking about it. Mm -hmm. So a bit of that, that's a, that's a bit of my story. And then, of course, it was just always, it still always is a struggle. And one of the yes. things I wanted to say here is that while I can say I'm a fitness enthusiast, you don't have to be all buff and full of muscles yeah, and, and super lean a particular and, weight yeah. or to be a fitness enthusiast. You, you just have to consciously um, apply the, the brain um, commitment yeah, to do definitely. it and you have to actually want to do it. So when I started working at um, Sandals and, of course, had the baby, there was always a struggle. Zachary must have been like five or so then. You know, when do you find time mm -hmm. to work out? And I consciously had to decide that at 4 a.m., at 4 a.m. Ungodly hours. That's, that's, yes. That's, that's good hours. Yes. Good hours. Yes. Um, between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m., no one except my son has the right to inter to bother me, ask me for anything, no job, you know, unless... Yeah, exactly. So I started working out at 4 a.m. Yeah. But that meant I had to go to bed at 9 p.m. Yes. yes. <laughs> right? So commitment. Yeah, discipline. definitely. And so I started making sure that I got all my work done by 6 p.m., got home, do dinner, whatever, and in bed by 8.39. Wow. And to this day, all my friends know yeah. they can't call me after 8.30. Mm. I'm not answering the phone. I'm not... Anything, I love it. Uh, yes. I know it, it's worth it, though. It is. Worth, right? It is. So those are my workout hours. And then I started running. I love running because I love being outdoors. And um, I can feel the difference. Like, when I'm not exercising, I definitely feel a difference. I, even my, if, what I produce at work. Yeah. Um, my moods. How I interact with my friends. Um, you know, I, I don't want to do anything else when I'm not working out. And... I'm the opposite because they say when you're not working out, you're supposed to try and eat better. Yeah. Mm. I actually go into a slump. Mm -hmm. I've, I've eaten bad. Bad. Yes, mm -hmm. Definitely. Me that too. So to for me, too. for me to eat well, I have and to be really, working out. yes, I have yeah. to be working out. Yeah. So well, I, have I think to that's be. my my hardest anyway because even when I am working out, as bad as it is, I would exercise and be like. Oh well, I exercise, so then that means I could eat this double. Yeah, down. and you know that's not true. That's like a myth. I know, I know. You know, and I do it all the time too. I eat fries today at work. I'm like, I'll just run an extra mile tomorrow. <laughs> right, yeah, but, but it you have to find a balance where you don't want to deprive yourself too right. much, but you don't want to overindulge. Yeah, that's true. Right. I feel like when you work, when you work, you know, that you feel guilty. Like you guilt yourself. You're like because you already committed the effort to work. Right. Right. So right. then that's when you're like, I right, when you know you have to give your body fuel to. 
to yep. continue, you know, to continue. Yep. So, well, yep. how do you maintain eating when you do so many things anywhere already? Like, do you mean prep, 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 prep? You yeah. have to prep, yeah. you know, and you have to find ways of prepping. Like, I um, I buy chicken breasts mm-hmm. um from a supplier. He he sells chicken breasts in a Ziploc bag. Mm-hmm. It's like fifty dollars for like. Five pounds, ten pounds, can't remember. It was fifty dollars, and you get a lot of chicken breast. Mm-hmm. And I get it, and I clean it, and I zip lock it back out, and mm. and then I prepare. And that's easy to cook. Yeah, you exactly. know, um, ten minutes. Yes, and then one of the things I did um, back in twenty sixteen when I really started focusing now, not just on, I think that's when I really started becoming really fitness oriented. Mm-hmm. Um, the guys in the gym used to always say. They used to see me struggling, like, cut out sugar and salt, cut out sugar and salt. And I'd be looking at them like, whatever, cut out sugar and salt. And I played carnival that year, yeah. August 2016. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we play, I play carnival every year. I don't miss it. I'm struggling right now because of right? that. <laughs> I was going to say, this year. Well, it's two years now, exactly. right? Struggling, struggling. And I, start, I switched gyms and I, I found a trainer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you may have seen him. We, mm. we just discovered yeah, we know each other from the gym. Calvin. Right, right. And, um, and I, I really wanted to find somebody who can. And I, ha- I re- actually read an article about this um, trainer client relationship. You know, so I, I, all this time I, was, I had cl- um, trainers that they just didn't understand my body, mm-hmm. didn't realize the, the balance of cardio that I needed versus weights. Yeah you know, um, or just regular flow exercises versus machines, mm-hmm. you know, um, that I am really small on top and <laughs> not, I'm really not proportionate, you know, so that's just how my body is built. So mm-hmm. in terms of when you're giving me the workout to do, you have to remember that if you give me too much stuff to do on top, I'm just going to, exactly. you know, and so you have to, and me and him fight about it all the time too, because sometimes I say, like, ah, do that right, I don't want to do it again. Yeah. You know, he's like, but you have to do it because you have to start using your muscles to burn the fat, the extra fat yeah. that you have and all this kind of stuff. And I cut out the sugar and salt. Mm. I just decided one morning, let me try this. And see. Cut out sugar. I mean, I never were, I, I was never a big sugar eater. Yeah. But I went and milk. Oh, I don't, yeah. I don't mess with And milk. I watch, and I watch, have you seen what the hell? Of, Yes, I, yes, I can't watch yes. any of those food documentaries because I watched, I'm like, uh uh-uh. I watched What the Hell and I cut out milk. Mm. I still maintain some kind of meat, but I cut out all dairy, mm. all dairy, sugar and salt. I'm and I'm sure. Boom. Works wonders. Yes. Yeah, I could not. Boom, with the workout. Right. Boom. My greens, my fish, my chicken. Mm-hmm. Um, and I still cheated here and there. Yeah. And we went carnival, Trinidad carnival. And um, we had mutual friends and family. And I remember putting on a costume and she's like, you lost weight. And I was like, really? You know? And then she's like, yeah. And then we came home and I put my August 2016 picture with my February 2017, August mm. of February. Yeah. And you could see the difference. Yes. And I have to say, it was a sugar and a salt. Mm. But do you think it's sustainable though? It is. Because really? you, yeah. It is. Listen, I love when I say and when yeah. I say sugar, caramel, popcorn, yeah, but you can't mm-hmm. eat the whole bag. Right. You understand? So everything, everything in, in <laughs> moderation. <laughs> well, Literally, and that's the funny thing. When you have cousins and friends who don't gain the weight the same, yes, as you, like that's what's me. I was the happiest one. My cousin's yes. heart, but my, all my cousins are so skinny, so much skinnier than me, especially Cora. And she loves caramel popcorn. So she would like we have a sleepover, and she'll come with a two bags of caramel popcorn. And it would do you. I would damage. go through a bag and a half in one night, like no shame in the game. And she still stays looking like a Victoria's Secret model. And but let me tell you. But can I tell you one of the biggest? Um, what I discovered with me, a lot of people don't realize this as well. One of the biggest um, sugar um, devils is mm. fruits. That's really? true. Mm-hmm. But I, that can't I, I, be I, bad. Put, I put that. Yeah, that's true. Well, here's the thing because fruits are good for you, mm-hmm. and they are good for you yeah. because they're natural sugar. Of course. People still don't eat a whole watermelon. Yeah. You know, a whole lot of bananas, right, or a right. whole cantaloupe, like a whole lot of it. Yeah. But all you're doing is what the body doesn't need, it will just convert to fat. Yeah. Oh. So I cut out sugars too. I cut out fruits, fruits too. too. What? Yeah. So I cut mm. out, I, fruits for me is citrus, grapefruit. Mm-hmm. I do banana because the potassium is good mm-hmm. for us. Yeah. Um, but half a banana versus a whole banana. Wow. And if when I get tired of it, I freeze it and put it in my smoothie. Yeah. Yeah. But sugar, you see that fruit? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, dangerous. That, that just shows mm-hmm. that any any if you do anything in it to excess is not yeah. correct. Good. Everything in moderation. Yeah. But yeah. I think a lot too in the Caribbean, especially Grenada, where people struggle with is alcohol with yes. the empty calories. Yes, that's yes. because we drink. Quite a bit. That's what I do. What? I like if we go out to dinner, mm-hmm. I don't have dessert. Alcohol is my dessert. There you go. Okay. That is a smart way to look at it. Yep. Alcohol is my dessert. I rather have a good glass of scotch mm. or a good glass of champagne or a good and I skip dessert. There you go. Yep. That so makes I, sense. I alcohol is my dessert. And so how long have you been focused on your fitness? Um I would say from 2016 mm-hmm. is when I really started focusing on. And then I fell off track. And here's the thing. I fell off track. Um, no, let me say 2013. Sorry. 2013 is when I felt I really started focusing. And 2016, 2017 is when I sort of fell off track because I started a new job and I started traveling. Now, mm-hmm. that part I have not been able to master yet mm-hmm. is a traveling. So I'll pack to travel. You to work for Tourism Authority. Mm-hmm. And I'll have my sneakers on my workout clothes and then I'll work out once. Yeah. Mm. And it brings me to my other point. You see sleep? Sleep is so important. Yeah. Because 100%. with the traveling and the sort of activities and events that we have to attend and go to while we're traveling, you just don't get that six hours. I need six hours sleep, six, seven hours sleep. That alone? Yes. I eight, is, eight, eight is perfect. And a half. Eight is perfect, <laughs> but I can function on six to seven. Mm. Um, and... But if I'm if I'm getting anything under that, mm-hmm. not happening. Oh man, not happening. So while I was traveling for those couple of years, and so I moved jobs and I'm now with Silver Sands, um, and the traveling is going to be less. Well, we haven't been able to travel, but it's start, it's starting back and it's going to be less. So I used the COVID opportunity to get back on track. I started back yes. running, mm-hmm. started back hitting the gym, enjoying, and you know. <laughs> Is he planting? Is another killer? Oh my gosh. Mm, <laughs> Plant- I love planting. Planting, avocado is another. Oh my gosh. Yes. I didn't realize how bad avocado Full of was, fat. you know. Because yes. I came home, I went to Miami for a couple of weeks and like I shredded, like, you know, those last five to seven pounds that everybody does wish that is not there, but it's there because of regular life. I was living with my nana while I was over there and she eats super healthy, super clean. I wasn't drinking as much and I lost that five pounds or eight pounds and I came back I'm like oh and it's avocado season yeah but I'm eating healthy but, but every meal I had avocado yeah and within two weeks I gained back all the weight yep all eight pounds I was just like yeah it's the avocado yeah. <laughs> well it's it must have been other stuff too yeah. but yeah. those alcohol. are little things that you know little changes um you know that 80 20 how much you focus in yeah on your your nutrition and I see it the minute I start focusing on my nutrition that 80 percent the workouts become easier. Right. Yeah, I feel a difference. I see the difference. And I, I feel a difference mostly in my clothes. Yeah. yeah. And I don't weigh myself. I was just about to say, that's one thing. I try not to weigh myself too yeah. much. No. I okay. try to use the clothes gauge. The clothes, yeah. Because the number will get into your head. Yeah. Because I was 170 when I came back from Utah. Yeah. Wow. In December 2009. And like, I, I showed them a picture <laughs> and they couldn't even believe it. They were like, what? But I stayed inside because like, you know, you come to Grenada and everybody's like, what? oh, I can't. Wait, but this way you can't start. And I'm just like, okay, I'm going to stay inside. <laughs> and then COVID happened. And I was like, this is perfect. Yeah. And my brother and I worked out every day for I remember seeing the 10 or 12 weeks. Yep. Yeah. And it was the best decision I ever made in my life. And, and now, like, it's, it's easy to fall off. Right. Very it's easy. so easy to fall off. And so I would always, like, if I miss one day, I'm like, oh, it's just one day you could you need rest and then i'll be like oh well these other things are more important and you just put everything above it and yeah. then a week is gone you didn't exercise you're feeling miserable and it's almost like you have to start all, all the over. way over yeah. again so i'm trying to i'm like at the stage now where i'm just trying to cut out that uh you can do it lapsing <laughs> yeah i think yeah. i can do it and especially now when i connect it to something positive like before i used to be like Oh, you're only doing it because you want to be slim. You want to fit into this swimsuit. You want to do this and that. And that honestly made it harder for me. Like, because I'll always be comparing myself. Right. Right. But the minute I gave it that positive connection, like you sleep better or Mm -hmm. you, you work better. Like I could actually sit and work for for longer periods of time. And that was one of the benefits I never noticed until I did it consistently. Yeah. And um, that was one of what I like about this video 
it's based a lot on science. So even though it was fun and easy to watch and hearing her say stuff, it actually made sense because granted going through lockdown and those three months was good getting into the rhythm. But honestly, I didn't see the real change until after about like nine months, months 10 months. Yeah. Like, and actually seeing it, yeah, when I go back to work and actually interacting in the real life, that's when I saw the benefits. So when she mentioned that after 18 months, you could really see the difference. I was like, oh, well, that makes sense. Because before I would start to exercise, lose the weight, and then be like, oh, I'm skinny now. I don't need to yeah. keep exercising. So you were doing the yo-yoing. I was yeah. yo-yoing hardcore. Yeah. But now I just, um, I'm never going to go back, I don't think. Yeah. No, you have to. It, it's, for me, I'm, I'm really hoping that I can, I can stay because... I can say now the only thing that the one thing that would probably throw me off is the traveling. Mm-hmm. So I've now identified that this, when I was traveling is when it was the hardest to to maintain um, both the nutrition and the physical activity because I just was and I know what it was. It was the sleep. Yeah, I was just and that's equally tired. as important. Yeah. 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 Do you feel like you found the combination of exercises that work for you, and did you think it was harder when you were trying to do workouts you didn't like? Definitely. Um, it's a good question. Like, yes. <laughs> it's funny because Kevin, my trainer and I, yesterday, is yesterday? Yesterday. Yes, yesterday. We, we, I said, because I get bored. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I said, like, I'm bored. I did that last week. Mm-hmm. You know, he said, but that works. I was like, yeah, but did it last week. I don't yeah. want to do it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very... That's what I love about the YouTube t- trainers because I have three tra- YouTube trainers. <laughs> no, I have three trainers on YouTube that all I don't have, have that, different styles. Yeah, but I don't have that discipline. I need to be with someone. It's almost like I need a sleep master. I need yeah. somebody standing over me saying, "Do yeah. it." Yeah, you know, because I'll, I'll che- and it's strange because I have a discipline, but I cheat on myself. Mm-hmm. You know, lol. But you know, once he's there, I figure he's watching me. and I need to do it. Yeah. You know? But I think once I communicate with him and say, "Hey, can we do something different?" I did yeah. that yesterday. You know, then he'll switch it up. Um, and he's able to also recognize what mood I'm in. Like, mm-hmm. if I don't feel like being inside, if I don't feel like being with the weights room, he brings yeah. me inside and he switched up a little yeah. bit. So I think I think I have found a... Con- I'm, I have to run. I have to do some mm-hmm. kind of cardio. And I enjoy running. Yeah. problem with me and the running is that I have a bad knee. I was just about mm-hmm. to say, that's yes. the only thing that that's scares me yeah. about... Well, yeah. your knee and stray dogs in Grenada. Yeah, but I have a, I have a route and I don't um and I go alone at five a.m. What? Yeah, you know, and it's my time. I love to run in the rain. I love when it's raining. So what? I love to run in the rain, but I have also invested in sneakers. Mm. So that was the Does other that thing make I discovered. That much of a difference? Oh yeah, and I think now my knee started hurting me the other day. I know why. It's time to change my sneakers. Mm-hmm. Like I change sneakers every six months. So oh, yeah, okay. I have, like lots of sneakers. Wow. But um. I in, I started investing in, in sneakers and I found the right sneaker for me because I run I don't run straight I run sideways like mm. so if you look at my sneakers they're worn down on the sides. Oh. So just, yes. What so, sneaker do you think is? I best? use Brooks and Adrenaline. Okay. Yeah. Plug plug plug. For <laughs> <promo>. <laughs> oh, and how did you find them? Just like your own research. Um, someone um, another friend who uses Brooks she told me to try it and there's a there's a test that you can do online. Yeah, so they tell you stand on one foot and then they, they tell you what to write down, like which way you're leaning towards, like for 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. And then they tell you walk a straight line and notice, like, what you're putting on first. Is it your instep or your heel? Okay. There was like a couple questions and then it sort of recommended a different type of sneakers. The first one didn't work. Mm-hmm. And then when I told another person who runs as well, another friend of mine in the state, she does like marathons and stuff. Mm-hmm. She said, try the adrenaline. And that was about three years ago. And I tried the adrenaline, and they come out with one every year, so it's kind of addictive as well. Yeah. <laughs> so like and I they have all these cool colors, <laughs> and then yeah, um, workout wear too. I got kind of crazy with it. Like I have to, you know, dress the part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to go to the gym. No, but it makes everything you has feel to match. Good. Yeah, exactly. You, you know? feel excited and you look forward. Well, it's the same way. Um, like when you're going to work. Yeah. You know, if you if you if you look proper and for your environment you right. kind of do the work for the environment Definitely. and you do it to the utmost um, ability so the same thing with the gym like I have to have on the proper attire of course you know not. I just got a bit excessive with it. <laughs> excuse me like the sneakers must match uh, the top and uh, oh girl no that's why I started working out at home because I don't know if it was just me but like I couldn't keep up I like I would always go to the gym with my friends and they'd laugh at me and they'll be like Ariel you can't get no man in the gym looking like that because <laughs> have like a big baggy t-shirt oh no you have to drop socks the socks don't no, match no, no, no. it's just like no, i'm just no, like no, that's no, how no. i just work out at home 
Yes. Back it roll out to bed. Um, and, and, and get to you, it. I know what gift I'm getting you next. <laughs> Exercise clothes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear it. I'll wear it in the comfort of my living room. Oh. No, you have to. You have to go. But there. you know what? Have you ever done CrossFit? I love CrossFit. Really? I'm scared. I'm I scared love of CrossFit. Day. Because I just like, I would be really embarrassed if I can't keep up. No, I love CrossFit. Um, and there's a guy here who does CrossFit. My Mario. Only, Mario. My only problem with Mario, Mario, if you're listening, I, I, th- let me, I can't tell I do hot sun. I do hot sun. I'm fine because I work out with him as well. Um, I, do, I, I've done his training. He's, he's really good. Um, I only do hot sun carnival time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 100 so, so, so the crossfit is in the sun he is it's, it's on it's on weekends at 9 a.m full blown the hot sun, sun is too hot where where um he where he lives down in in Coral Cove and Nansipine. Okay. okay so yes um mm-mm. i've tried it i love the workout of the day like you, you get all this stuff and it's mm-hmm. really challenging it's a, and it's a perfect combo of cardio and weights really? and I, I love that adrenaline yeah, I should try that but you see that hot sun nah like, I, I, I walked out of there. My last time I was there, I left. Oh, my God. How yes. long is it? It's an hour. It takes you okay. about an hour. Yeah. Um, and you go, what I like about it is you go at your own pace. Okay. So you're not in a class where you're trying to keep up with everybody. Right. As you just have that to complete. My no, you just have to complete the workout. It's the WOD. You just have to complete the workout of the day. And that's what I like. Yeah. And you go at your own pace. And you have to, you challenge yourself as well. So if this week he told you do 20 push-ups and you only did 10, next time you push-ups is on the board, you're like, yeah, let me try and do 15. Okay. Fair you know, enough. and then you do, it's a really nice combination of different types of workout. For me, it's perfect for me for cardio. I just can't do the Hudson. Like, I start yeah. feeling like I'm going to pass out. Yeah, like, exactly. I start feeling, like I start getting, <laughs> in my head, I can't deal with it. Yeah. yeah and yeah so no i wish he would do it at 6 a.m or 7 a.m yes. but he's he's not going to change he probably couldn't most no. of his clients probably wouldn't wake up that time uh, no a yeah i'm not anyway. busy yes yeah no so <laughs> what about you kareem what's your vibe when it comes to exercise um i like weights yeah I, so my i actually get depressed when i can't go to the gym oh. like i used i used to do like at home workouts mm-hmm. like hi insanity and okay, that was stuff. right but then I, I just got bored. You need like, to be yeah. with the iron. Yeah, like they, they, they just got too easy for me. No so way. literally, I just, I have to lift weights. Like, well, I lift weights too. But one thing I feel like with exercise, you really have to, I don't want to say I'm a brat, but I don't like to do things I don't like to do. You know, so, like, yeah. <laughs> but, but then you're a brat. <laughs> I'm going to introduce you to Calvin. <laughs> and so like, it took me a long time to stay consistent with exercise because I wouldn't like a trainer being like, you need to lift heavier. You need to do this. No. You need to do that. And so then, and then all the different, the weight things, I just wasn't confident. So what I loved about the YouTube, the girls that I have is that I started, and even though I don't want to say that I was cheating myself because I knew I could have gone harder, but what I really focused on was getting the form, mm-hmm. right? Because I was like, I rather do three squats or three push-ups and know that probably. I did good form than right. pump out 10 and my joints and that's really my back important yeah, yeah. form is really important yeah. and, and so then when the, I got the, the form the same thing. Yeah, exactly and when I got the form that's when I started to be more confident in myself okay so I graduated from doing the workouts with the eight pounds and then now I'm at 15 pounds nice yeah which is so nice. good but I'm like if I can't when I'm when I could do like 25 push-ups straight and like feel I'm never going normal. To that. yeah. Then <laughs> that's when I can Ten. say, okay, I'll go up to to um to yeah. higher weight. But yeah. right now, I love the hit and the weight combo with the girl that I'm doing. Yeah. Where that 15 pounds, I'm literally like a bucket dripping yes. afterwards, yeah. and it just feels so good. And I'm never bored. With I like working out with people because then I almost get like competitive. Yes. But I like when I'm working out on my own because then I could be more comfortable. I can make whatever sounds I want. I could cause. I could take a longer break. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Um. So, but the only thing about that is I have to kind of remind myself like, don't cheat yourself. Like, right? Don't take too long a rest. Or I master get to half of her workout and be like. 30 minutes a day is like the recommended amount. You don't oh, need to so finish nice. the hour. <laughs> and so then I have to kind of like coax myself to get through it. And you have to it. now hold yourself accountable. <laughs> exactly. Yes. yes. Okay. If you had somebody with you, they'll be holding you, holding you accountable. That is yeah. so true. But yeah. nobody can make me do what I don't want to do. Anyway, I'll sit down and watch them finish that workout <laughs> on their own. I'll be like... How often are you doing the weights? Three um, times a week. Every month. day. 
Every, every day. day. Not every day, but six times a day. Yeah. What? Is that enough rest? One rest day. Yeah, yeah. Is that enough rest? Yeah. But sometimes well, as I wanted to start, well, I, I did it once, and then I just, I don't know, I've been, I've been falling off of life for the last month. <laughs> <laughs> I think, life happens. Yeah, right. yeah, life happens. But I've been starting trying to do calisthenics. Oh, yeah, um, I love that. I did it. I did it on the beach with this guy, Chris. It was, it was really cool. But at the end of the workout, when we count the amount of pull ups and push ups we did, I was like, bro, it's ridiculous. Who is it? The karate guy? Is it like he's he, he's short he and kind of like thick and he has a, his hair in one? No. Oh, no. okay. He's a tall guy. Because he's, like, he's ripped and I always see he's him. He's a tall guy. He's ripped. He's ripped. Front too. flick, back flick, push up flick. <laughs> nah, okay. Not him. <laughs> yeah. Nah, not him. He's a tall, a tall guy. His name is Chris. Chris okay. Lever. Okay. Um, and like it was, we literally was like just doing push ups, pull ups, push ups, pull ups, push ups, pull ups. I don't like mm. that. For like an hour. I can't nah. do the same things <laughs> back was, and forth. Yeah. It, I did one intense. with. Um, the average person is not. Yeah. yeah gonna like, try to do the no. same thing. Yeah. I like. Um. Have you ever tried the um Fit Body type? Is his name, but he does it behind the stadium. Oh the. Oh okay. The, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. calisthenics. Oh, that was fun because it it definitely keeps you on your toes. I like. But he does. Isn't it in a group? Yeah, it's yeah. a group. Yeah. So you pay per class if you want, right. or you can pay monthly, and that was really nice and engaging. Um, mm. And it's like muscle confusion. So it's so different from what I used to be doing, like on my own at the time. That right. you definitely feel it in the random little corners. Like I didn't yep. even know I had a muscle here. Yeah. Like yeah. like what is that? Yeah. Like what's this going on here on the side? You know. Yeah. But um, yeah. I'm happy to see. I feel like Grenadians are almost. They are finally catching on to see the benefits of exercise other than their own carnival time. Yeah. And then and for me, um, you know, as a as a mom and you know, working in a hospitality field, I I I want to see more females in particular. And then um what impressed me like the other day, our son said, Zachary said he wants to go to Mario. Yeah. yeah. So he did a few sessions with Mario. Nice. And I felt really good because his dad works out a lot as well. Yes. And he, he sees me getting up in the morning and going to work out and he's like, I want to work out as well. And he did a few sessions with Mario with mm-hmm. the with the weights and I said, do you like it? And he said, yeah, I, I, that's what I want to do. That's, nice. you know, How old is he now? Zachary's 12. Oh, nice. That's oh, a cool you know, age. So to be at that age and he has other friends who are doing it, you know, so to see that generation taking um, a liking or yes. an interest and, and wanting to feel the benefits, mm-hmm. you know, and, and then... And then the eating as well, you know, mm-hmm. he's very conscious. So he eats his veggies and his fish and mm-hmm. yeah, he's, you know, and I just think it's just from the way we eat. I was just about to yeah. say that really shows the power of how parents having these healthy yes. habits translate. Because yeah. I had a wonderful childhood, bless my parents, they did, did a great job, but I didn't see them making that a priority in their yeah. life, the exercising okay. yeah. and the eating. No. So it was hard for me as I got older to kind of figure out how to fit that into my life. And I told my daddy, I had to ban him from making bakes. Yes. <laughs> Three times a week we eat in bakes. I well, said, no. My dad will let me eat, <laughs> right? Right after we eat, it's like, you want more? Right? You know, so I, I honestly, growing up, did not know what it felt like to feel full. Like, mm. I didn't, yeah. That's there's a chemical, back to the, 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 the science. Yes. There's a chemical reaction that's supposed to happen in your brain that mm. tells you, you're your stomach can't hold anymore, mm-hmm. right. you know, and it's back to the fruits. So we eat a big bowl of fruits. All you're doing is stretching your stomach yeah. to hold the more fruits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the yeah. body is just going to use what it needs and store the rest, and store the rest yeah. you know, and stretch your stomach. Exactly. You know, Which so, makes you feel like you could eat more and more and more. Right. So it's the overeating. The yeah. overeating is what causes and people stretch in different areas. Yeah. You know, so I can't afford that. So I try to, I, I have to eat breakfast. I have to eat lunch and I have to eat dinner. Yeah. And I have to find the right things to eat in between. Mm-hmm. Because even if eating those three things right, the in between could right. throw you off definitely. Right, right. You know, that all I ate versus right. versus some nuts. Yeah. yeah. You could yeah. fall off from snacking. Yes, easy. definitely. Yeah. yeah. And then what I found, the little snack, I use Grenada chocolate. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like about three, four, I started I literally started to feel my blood sugar dropping. Like I need something to eat. Yeah. You know, and if I don't have the right stuff around me, I'll just eat anything. Yeah. You know? Like, so now I try to have 
um, above um, probably 80% of the granola, mm-hmm. any granola chocolate, any one of the ones. Yeah. And I literally eat two pieces and I'm fine. Yeah, you're uh, good to go. But what you said there was super important, right? Like, if you don't have things readily available... Is it prepping, yeah. You, yeah. you eat all healthy too. Definitely. Yeah. See, Thankfully, my son is not a big snacker. Ooh. Like, he, don't, he doesn't like snacks. Like, you know, big bags of Cheetos mm-hmm. and, you know, that kind yeah. of stuff. Otherwise, because then if that's in my eyesight... That's what I'm going to eat. Exactly. So true. You know. And so after you've gone through all these progressions and different levels, what would you have as advice you want to give to moms, but also more than moms, people who are probably just starting their exercise yeah. journey? What would you say? I, I always, people ask me a lot the, the question, like, what do you do? And sometimes I'm really very blunt with it. I, one time this lady stopped me in, in the supermarket. I guess she noticed I was switched for life both those days. And she said, I've been watching you. And I'm like, oh, like okay, <laughs> right? Creepy. And she said, I want to know what you did. I said, you're not going to do it. <laughs> she Straight said, up like that? Yeah, she said, I can say that to me. I said, because I know you're not going to do it. And she's like, well, try me. I said, I, I, I can guarantee you. I said, you will try, but it's really hard to keep up. And she's, and then I hit her. I said, I'm at four o'clock. <laughs> How and you know? she said, okay, never mind. She said, but why at four? I'm like, I said, I said, I can tell you. It's the one I said, I ask, I said, you have husband? Yes. Three children. Wow. I said, that's the hour they're sleeping. Mm-hmm. That's the hour you have to, that means, but that means you have to get them to help you do stuff in the evenings and you have to go to bed and say, I'm clocking out. They're all on your own. Yeah. Right? Because I have to wake up at four to get me, to do me. Mm-hmm. I love so, that. yeah. So I said to her, I said, you have to want it bad, like real bad. Mm-hmm. And in the beginning, you have to take this concept of um, extreme measures mm-hmm. for extreme results. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You know, you have to just go extreme at it. Yeah. Um, the gradual may not work. You just have yeah. to almost probably go cold turkey and you have to try different things yes and that's what I did you know I did try different things and I realized for me to get results I have to be extreme with it Mm -hmm. you know I have to almost get radical with it yeah I have to yeah yeah I have to dress nice I have to I have to do all the things yeah and even like with my running I run with a small wash rag in my hand because I sweat profusely like I'm soaking wet and I hate to feel the sweat in my eyes yeah Mm -hmm. and my hair is always soaking wet, so I always have to have on a cap. And one morning, mm-hmm. I forget a cap. Uh-oh. I run back home. Yeah, that's why I'm with headphones. I can't. I run back like, home. When I used to go to the yeah. gym. I run back home, and or like my headphones. I have like three, four different pairs of Bluetooth headphones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't walk out without headphones. I can't yeah. walk out without soca music. Oh. <laughs> I cannot. I, can't I just, it's my. Music really? Soca is yes. one of the few things that gets me going through yes. a workout. So I have to run with soca music, and I need my, so I need my cap. I need my music. Mm. Um, I need rag. my little rag. Uh-huh. Yes. And I need my thing for my phone. Yeah. You know. And I could go. Yeah. You know. She's a fancy workout person. <laughs> yeah. She's just fancy. <laughs> She's but, yeah. And I told the lady, I said, find what works for you. But as a, as a mom working with a husband with three kids, that may be the only time. Yeah. Right. You exactly. Know? Um, and I, 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 I just don't have the mental brain power or um to work out in the evenings as well that was my next question to you i was like do you think working in the evening at work not in the evening i've tried possible? it i've tried it i've and i and i tell like mary and i tried to schedule i said mary it makes no sense i'm gonna cancel yeah especially because of the work i do i was late. remember i told you i was late today right. just as i was walking out from work something happened something happened you know? yeah and the, the hotel work is like that mm-hmm. you know depending on where you are in in, in the hierarchy yeah, you know the management you, need you know to you just there. have to yeah. But guess what? That don't happen at 4 a.m. Right. <laughs> that is so true. Unless you're working overnight shift. Yeah. You know, so, and then after talking to her, she's like, oh, I said, yeah, I said, so you, you really, I said, and then I hit the sugar and the salt and the carbs and the rice and the bread and, <laughs> you know, and I said, you're going to have to f- probably teach your family to eat the way you do. Mm, you definitely. know, because it's almost impossible to cook for you and cook for them. Mm-hmm. Right. So you, over time, you have to, and then, I guess that's why Zach eats like that. Mm-hmm. Because we've always, luckily, you know, we got into it when he was really young. So he's always eaten what we ate. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, there wasn't ever, we don't do sauces, no ketchup, no condiments. What? Yeah, like Not you come in my house. I love Not really. What kind of chocolate is that? 
I don't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't you know, know the saying, you don't know what you're missing if that's you don't have it. Exactly. And that's what I was just about to say. He's yeah. not missing anything. He's gaining no. so many other things. He will things. eat fries. Yeah. And you know what's in the fries? What? Salt and pepper. Mm. You no don't ketchup. want sauce. Yeah, he doesn't eat, he don't, he doesn't I, like curries, I, I, I he doesn't like have. gravies, he doesn't, what? if we do barbecue for him, wow. it has, yeah. No barbecue sauce. Because you know what the other trick? Barbecue sauce full of sugar. Yeah, yeah, it is. All those sauces. Is. That's why yeah. I only like mustard because it has like but yeah. very the, little the calories. But these things, you could have these things. But In if moderation. You, yeah, if you, if you like, kind of weigh them out and stuff, you do macros and stuff like that. You could, yeah, I know that's yeah, like the other yeah. level. I've yeah. heard I about the macros the and stuff. Way, I don't even easy. understand. When people say like, do you measure your macros? Yeah. I was like, no. Yeah, so like if you, nah. if you look like at the back of like your, your chips and stuff, mm-hmm. it tells you. How many chips? How many calories? Yeah. And how many grams? But I don't of chips. want to know that. My <laughs> thing, I don't want to know. I'm eating it anyway, so I don't but, want to eat it and feel guilty. Well, no, you won't feel guilty. But what it says, it it stops you, right? So, for example, right. say you allotted. That's it. 50, yeah, if you allotted yes. fifteen hundred. Apparently. No, no. If you allotted, <laughs> like, say you allotted fifteen hundred calories for a day, right? You take a bag of chips, and they say, okay. 40 grams of these chips is 200 calories. You have 1,500. You say, okay, we'll subtract 200. You weigh that out, and that's your cal- You just don't eat the whole bag. You just eat the 40 grams. Yeah. <laughs> no. Is he listening to you? It's probably how the, the lady was listening to me. Like, <laughs> what? Like, what treacherous no. yeah. things are you telling me? Stop eating the chips half. Stop eating the chips. Like, come on. Come on now. You mean pause and then save some for the second episode? No. <laughs> oh, my God. No, my favorite, like, because eating is my week. Yeah, he loves to eat. I love to eat. And my daddy is the best cook. He's always cooking, he's always cooking. But I saw this video on YouTube and the girl said once half of your plate is vegetables, the other half could be whatever you want it really? to be. Supposedly. So I was like, I'll take this and I'm wow. running with it and I'm digging it so far. <laughs> I don't think I'll work with I don't me. Think, that, that doesn't even sound like that's right, though. Yeah, what but the other half of the plate is like filled. half of the plate and you have to finish eating your vegetables first. Ah, uh, that's a trick. Yeah. Because what you're doing... You full? Do you buy right. But, that, but then the that's, only, that's only if you're able to listen to your stomach back True. to, I'm full, I don't yeah. eat anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, oh, but what if that plate was filled with the fried bakes and the fried Cheese chicken and, and, and mm, all the good stuff? I would eat the vegetables first. I would definitely finish all the bakes exactly. and all the fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness Facts. but you know what it's a journey it's a journey and you have to and remember to be is. kind to yourself yeah. yep. that's the other thing and you can't beat yourself up to the point where you're like it's not fun anymore because I feel like that's when you don't want to do it right. yeah. 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 yeah definitely um, and pick your battles so true yep. Yep. like know when to keep pushing yourself and then know when to give yourself a rest exactly yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. listen to your body you're like I'm on a permanent rest right now you just said you work out six so you, times a week. Yeah, so you but I haven't gym worked out. I worked out for the last like three weeks. Oh, it's been that long. Yeah, oh, like, how wow. do you feel? I've been slacking. I feel You're like confused. Yeah, I feel like I don't even know my place in the world. Is do you yeah. know though what cause what is causing you to not go? Um, I mean a combination of different things, honestly. Okay. And I feel like I've just been making excuses. I've probably been drinking too much. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Doing, but then working too much and like yeah. doing too many things. Yeah. yeah prioritizing, think, not prioritizing I'm not yourself. Not prioritizing first. myself. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I think that's. I think that's it. I kind of, yeah. kind of fell off. And then I just then since my birthday is next week, I've been doing the excuse. Okay, I'll just drink and party till my birthday. And then after and then that. After my birthday, it was, so I don't know. But you know, and I did the opposite to my birthday, like. When I right, it's like turned forty six this year. What? And um, congratulations! You look thank great. You. I didn't know you were that. Oh, no, <laughs> well, no, that's good because of I always course. thought you were younger. I, I have like no in problem your telling my age. I love to tell my age. Everybody's that's like, great. you just tell it. I said, yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm really proud of where of I am. Of course, you're aging very well. Really um, comfortable telling my age, yeah. you know, so nothing wrong with, with, with it. But the, so my birthday is the 13th of April. So that mm-hmm. two weeks, that those 12 days before I was hitting the gym hard, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. eating right. Yes. You know, um, to just, it just felt really, really good. Yeah. It just felt really, and it's always a feeling for me. Right. Um, and then I look. Yeah. Know? Agreed. So then I look, but it was. Oh, it just felt really, really good to be able to do that and and know you're turning forty six. You know, and for me, I was not that at twenty three. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, and I'm sure you could Double feel the, the difference in your of body. Of course. Of yeah. course. Yes. 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 So, I just you know, if if I can inspire one person a week. I'm inspired right now. Right. 
I'm not waking up at four o'clock, but I'm definitely inspired. Four o'clock is the uh, best time, trust. Yeah, my Egypt alarm goes off 10 to four, time. and it's a whole process. <laughs> Yeah. My alarm goes up exactly 10 to 4 and I'm out of the house by like 4.30. Mm. Do um, you like prep your clothes the night before, yes, like take them out and everything? I saw yeah. a video the other day on Instagram. Um, mm. I guess it's like a, a clip on somebody's story because of course my Instagram is full of all these, you know, fitness people mm. I follow. Yeah. And the girl was saying, it, the video started with her at night putting out her clothes mm. and she got her shake-up bottle and her pre-workout mm. and her um, bag and... I was like, oh, I'm not the only one. I wake up at four and she's yeah. like, normal people are sleeping. Exactly. And I was so like, oh, true. so I'm not crazy. There's other people like me. Right. No, you're not crazy. No, but I do. That doesn't mean that you're not crazy. It just means, <laughs> just about to say. It just means you're not alone. Right. No, but I do, I do prep everything from the night before so mm. that I could just go, go, go. Exactly. Yeah. And just get up. Yeah, my gloves, crazy. everything. Otherwise, it, it, something is going to go missing and then it's... And it throws you off and then you have to go back home because you're not prepared. <laughs> no, but that's a selfish... I don't want to say, like, this is shallow, but that's also one of the reasons I started working out because I realized all the older people I knew who looked really young mm-hmm. were people who exercised yes. for yes. for a yeah. long time. And I'm not saying, like, bodybuilders and stuff, but, like, consistent, small amounts of exercise, even if it's just yeah. walking, like, some, as simple as this, this gardener. Um, that I know from Concord. He's 60 something, a well into 60s. The man is so fit, he looks like he's 30 something. Mm. And I said, What do you do? He said, Hard work, hard work and good food. And I yes. was like, Yeah. And good food. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, because you know, yeah. he eaten from Our great grandparents, you know what they ate? Fish. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Fish and uh, okra. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. meals. And they lived to real 90 food. something. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Real yeah. With food. no ailments. My grandmother was 99 yesterday. Yeah, wow. that was yesterday. Crazy, yes, yeah. And she's like mobile. She's mobile. Awesome. Up, up Does she amazing. exercise or like is she like she a she garden? Like like yeah, she walks. Walking is the most underrated exercise, walks. honestly. Yeah. yeah. Where's she walking to? To the to the to the guy to the great and back. I don't know. Oh. Until she goes. <laughs> Hello, she like, walk, that, yeah. He makes it sound like she's about to hop a bus and nah, go to town. Nah, nah, she walking. Can't go enough. <laughs> no, no yes, yeah. No, but yeah, our food is is definitely. Um, was it in this video? Maybe another one I saw where they say that the food either kills the disease or encourages it. I don't think yeah. it was this video. Probably one that I looked so at true. after. Yeah. yeah. You are what you eat, That's literally. Yep. yep. Your yep. body takes and it the, and turns cancer it into loves it. sugar. So, yeah, oh, if really? you put yeah, yeah, if you put there's another video on that. If you put cancer cells mm. um, on a petri dish and you put sugar, and the cancer grows with the sugar. Oh, wow. mm. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's no one. Cool. So we shouldn't eat any processed sugar yeah. at all. No one yeah. in, in the beginning of the video she was saying you know you 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 could legit avoid a lot of diseases mm-hmm. and stuff. Yes. Just, yeah. She, just from just from exercise. Exercise. Yeah. It literally changes your brain. Mm-hmm. So, if we needed huh. anything else to tell you guys, if there was anything else we could <laughs> possibly tell you, you're going to be younger, you're going to evade sickness, you're going to be more focused, more energy, mm-hmm. and you're going to look good Productive, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Most important. Most important. That's, <laughs> that's, a, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the icing on the cake. Joking, yes. yeah. You're going to yes. feel good. That's and be able, to do, be able to do the roots, you know, and be able to go the whole week. Fat <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, and not yeah. crash too. Early. And not crash, yes. I love it. Out, yes. I love it. So I think that was a really hearty conversation. It was. I Thank think you we for covered inviting lots me. of good topics. I was just about to tell you, is there any last comments you want to make? Um pretty much um, as I said, if I could inspire one person a week, you know, or a month, you know, um, and that's why I post. Yeah. You know, some people say you post. And, and and a lady met me, a friend of mine met me. She's like, I don't see you posting anymore. I was like, mm-hmm. it's, you know, it's, it, I have to remember now to do it, to ask yeah. somebody to take it. And yeah. with Mario, it was easy because Mario, that's how he documents his progress, workouts. Right. Yeah, he actually takes a video for you and sends it to you after. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, now that I'm not going to him as much and I'm in, I'm in the gym, I have to remember to ask Kevin to take a picture. Mm-hmm. You know, but um, if I can inspire a person, just keep going, balance, mm-hmm. you know, it's a balance and Drink lots of water. Mm. Yeah, lots of water. Sleep mm. water and, mm. and food. And, you know, and it there is for anybody who wants to try it. And I'm always, you know, open to a person saying, can I come with you? Sure, you know. Awesome. But you just, you have to do it. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't deal with slackers. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. I don't have the patience for the slackers. What the time? You don't yeah. have the time for it. No, it's like, there, yeah. and you have to, remember you were asking me what? You have to want it yeah. real bad. Yeah. yeah. 
you have to just want it real bad and and, and just just a lot of time the same way you can a lot of time to go to the supermarket yeah you know to do Everything anything like you know yeah. you schedule a doctor's appointment schedule a workout exactly you know and pretend there's somebody there waiting for you so and you, you you shouldn't call and say i can't come Mm-mm. you know Mm-mm. so slot it in and for the moms and the, the persons who are working do it when everybody else is sleeping yeah Yeah, it just takes a bit of more sac- sacrifice and dedication and commitment, but I guarantee you the benefits are there. Definitely, it'll be yeah. worth it. And you know that saying, you can't pour from an empty cup. So if you have to put it in that way, yes. look at prioritizing yourself first, so then you can give more. Mm. Um, That's yeah. I want to be around a real long time exactly. for my son and his kids. Like we, me and his dad, we literally want to be around for a real oh. long time. Yes, yes, yes. So and one of the ways to, to you can't guarantee it. Yeah, but you know, but one of the chances. one of the increase the chances is to is to eat right and um I'm gonna drink my dessert still. <laughs> <laughs> same, same, same. But but I don't ever mix if anybody knows any of my friends would say I drink my scotch straight up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. What? Not even soda? Not mm-hmm. like club soda? No. <laughs> so fun yeah. fact. A straight up shot of scotch is 75 calories. Of course, you'd not. That But if you fun add fun. coke to it, if you add coke, it's like 200. So there you go. If you yeah. add coke, coconut water to it, probably not. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So why are you adding soda water? You just I adding some bubbly? Yeah, that's why I do with vodka. But then you're diluting it. Yeah. You're not a real karaoke girl. <laughs> Listen, I gave up my clock squad days. I gave up the clock squad. I traded it in, you know? I was like, I'm making better choices. But so I just do my little soda and then, you know, and that way you're hydrating at the same time. True. You see? Yeah. Wow. I just do ice life hack. That, 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 that's, that's what you tell me. <laughs> right? Still end up wasty right. wasty pants yeah 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 but you know you live you learn yeah you live, so you learn. balances that's what it's all about but and you are going to fall off yes yeah just get back on exactly yeah the same way you fall down you get back up true. you don't stay down there right so true so yeah. true yeah it's a natural reaction to just get back up should be <laughs> and the faster you get back up the less time you spend on the ground so it's like a win-win yeah nobody trying to just sit down on the ground and wallow just get up True. Okay. Yep. You can do it. Yep. Kareem, any last words? Um. Are you inspired to get back I'm on your inspired. fitness train? I'm inspired. I'll see you on Tuesday. I go to the gym on Tuesdays. Tuesday, Wednesday. There you go. Your gym buddy is Weekends. looking you're accountable oh now. Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So now I know I need to now I need to find my gym clothes. I even know where they are now. Oh no. Know. Yes. It's, yes. It's a, it's a struggle. <laughs> That's okay. We believe in you. <laughs> We believe in you. But, and uh, with that. Yeah, yeah, well, no, I was just going to say yeah, thank you for, for yeah. coming through. And, for sure. And, Welcome. And, and like I was telling, um, I was telling you this today. Yeah. I really love, because um, you're what, about two generations behind? I'm 28, yeah. Yeah, you see? Wow. So, okay. yeah, it's about two. <laughs> it's nice to see, um, it's nice to see you guys doing stuff like this. I really enjoy the conversations. Uh, and, um, and, and, you know, looking, you're, you're, in a way, you're looking out for the next generation, you yes. know, finding yeah. um, the space for them to be able to express, um, you know, just express themselves. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And the ability to just choose a topic, you know, um, and, and invite somebody and, and be able to talk about it is awesome. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And we like, all learn that Ariel is crazy, so that's the... <laughs> All the good ones are. Right? <laughs> All the good ones are. And as you said that, I want to bring it back to something you said inadvertently when the lady asked you about you not posting because us doing stuff like this and you posting and stuff really does encourage and inspire people. Of even if we don't know it and we right. don't see it. So yep. like TED Talk says, there are certain ideas 